So I was thinking about the concept of, um, you know, kind of how sex changes or defines relationships, um, romantic relationships especially. Um, and I was kind of thinking about the side of the argument of abstinence. I was trying to think, why would you, like, you know, because I think sex is, I mean, it's an experience that it can be freeing in both personal, in selfish and selfless ways. You know, you're giving somebody the ultimate chemical pleasure while they do the same to you. You're exchanging these two, you know, very intense, powerful gifts to one another. Um, and that's a, that's an, you know, it's an incredible thing to do and it's an incredible thing to share with another human being. Um, and some would say that when it comes to relationships, sex can bond you more. Um, and I agree with that completely, but then there's also a part of me that's thinking, what about that concept being conditional? You know, sex is something that brings couples closer, but more so once they know each other well, once they have almost passed the personality threshold. And this is, I think, coming through, I guess, more of a, this would be more of a, I guess, like women's point of view, because that's kind of what, or like the, the stereotypical woman of what we think in society. Um, you know, I mean, women undergo things like slut shaming and all that stuff a lot more than men do because they have to, they, I mean, they don't have to be, but the society standards, which are now, you know, thankfully ch shifting, they used to be that, you know, the woman was, you know, the man, the man sought the woman and the woman then had to, her responsibility was to filter until she found one man. So she's the one who says, no, we can't sleep together. No, we can't, blah, 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 this and that. And again, I'm saying that because it's a very traditional sense of it. But um, what's fascinating is how <clears throat> sex can also be blinding. Uh, sex is a short-term gra gratification for a, like, you know, for a long-term problem, essentially. Um, but... I, what I think is if people sometimes, when you know, when you have sex with somebody before you know them or on the first date or the first thing you ever do, it could work. You never know. But there's also a possible possibility that you just got that one bullet in the Russian roulette revolver. And when you had sex, you were, the sex was really good. The sexual chemistry was there. But the emotion, or the, yeah, I guess the more emotion, emotional intellectual side of you is not compatible with them. And that's what happens. Then you start having sex and your whole relationship becomes about sex. And there's not intimacy because there can't be, because you never were meant to have intimacy with that person. Whereas if you had just waited to have sex with them, you would have figured that out beforehand. Now, is it worth it to take that risk? I mean, then... Whether or not that's everybody's personal decision. I mean, I think, like I said, sex is 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 crucial. I think to our existence. I mean, I mean, and we all know it is. But just the concept of sex. It's, I mean, it's it's freeing and literature and practice and and movies and everything. I mean, it's all around us. It's what you know forms so many ideas, but. I think actually having sex, not the concept of sex, the practice of sex, it's a lot more complicated than we think, or than, than, I, than I used to think. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sex does complicate. It just depends on the two people, three people, however many people. But it just depends on their ability to either look past their tra to tradition or to let the tradition, I guess, in a way take over and make them feel bad. I don't know if that made sense.